Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It is time to get real. Are you ready? So if you watch my video from last night, you know that um, yesterday was a crazy day and never and nothing went as planned. But a good rule of thumb for me or something that I try to live by, sleep on it. Sleep on it. Everything looks better in the morning. Everything always looks better in the morning. And I don't know that if it's just because I'm a morning person or because after a good night's sleep, you're more equipped to, to handle things or if you just need some time to distance yourself and just um, give yourself a minute to, um, you know, relax or whatever. But you know what? Everything always looks better in the morning. So it's been less than 12 hours since I've been with you and I have a completely um, different outlook. I also have the same attitude. <laughs> I don't know. I've got a good attitude. I'm pretty calm and relaxed and um, still thankful and grateful, but definitely a better outlook today and feeling somewhat refreshed and ready for the day. And so this morning I got up like usual and did all of my success habits, which include reading. And right now, I'm finding it very difficult to read because the book I'm reading is a very difficult read. And so it's going slow, but I'm having patience and really trying to grasp and understand the message of the book. And so I've told you already that I'm reading Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And this was the original version, I believe, was written in 1937. And some of the language is a little um, difficult to follow. But there is some great stuff in here. And I wanted to touch on it right now. I'm only, I think this is only chapter two. And it's talking about desire and faith. All right. So any success begins with an inherent, deep, overwhelming unquenchable desire to achieve or attain whatever it is that you want okay your purpose your <clears throat> you know whatever it is that you really really want and he cites examples of you know his son was born deaf and teaching him to hear and not teaching him to hear but how he came to hear eventually you hear all these stories of people who are paralyzed and say they'll never walk again and they walk you know people who have cancer and they're cured and i think that there is such a deep desire in someone who overcomes something like that to achieve success or to get whatever they want that nothing will stop them and what i want to talk about today is not that desire but the faith you need to have in yourself in order to fulfill or live out um, or use that desire for achievement. And I want to talk about faith more as belief in yourself as opposed to belief in a being or something greater than yourself, which just side note, not that it's relevant or not, but I I believe I'm Catholic, I believe in God, I pray. That's my spiritual religious faith but again right now i'm talking more about having faith in yourself okay using faith as an emotion and developing the faith you need in order to succeed and so i defined faith as you, well i didn't define it i looked it up complete trust or confidence in someone or something so complete trust or confidence in someone or something and that someone again i'm talking about is you developing faith in yourself if you don't already have it and it says here that faith is a state of mind that may be induced or created by affirmation or repeated instructions to the subconscious mind how often do we talk about that this is not new i'm regurgitating things that have been proven since the i don't know at least 1937. so Faith is a state of mind. It is a state of mind. Making repeated affirmations to your subconscious is what's going to develop that emotion or elicit that response voluntarily. This is something that you are voluntarily doing and trying to create in yourself. A lot of the things we're doing here, we, I think we've, we've come to believe just happened to us. 
I'm a firm believer, believer that nothing just happens to us or very few things just happen to us. There are a lot of things that we have to voluntarily make go out and happen. And by, you know, think about volunteering. It's spending your time, uh, not getting paid for it, but getting so much back in return because of what you're doing. And so volunteer your time to develop faith in yourself. Um, it says here, any impulse of thought, which is repeatedly passed onto the subconscious mind is finally accepted and acted upon. So you keep telling yourself over and over and over, I can lose weight, I can lose weight, I can lose weight, I can lose weight. And finally, you accept it and act upon it. But the reverse is true. I, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. And you finally accept it and act upon it. So all thoughts which have been emotionalized or given a feeling and mixed with faith in yourself, begin immediately tra to translate themselves into their physical equivalent or counterpart. So we talk about this all happening in your mind first, but once you have faith in yourself and develop that, that self-confidence we've talked about before, it will begin to translate itself physically into the outer world through your subconscious. The mind, Hang on. The mind comes to finally take on the nature or the influences that dominate it. Don't you believe that is true? If you're constantly thinking uh, and worrying, then you're finally going to, that's all you're going to do. That's what's going to dominate your entire personality. You know, you, you, you hear about, you know, that person is so positive and has a lot of energy. That's because they develop, they voluntarily develop that attitude and it eventually comes to dominate them. The same thing holds true for, you know, people that are maybe always angry or bitter or um, just, you know, seem negative in general, because that's what they're feeding to their subconscious. That's what they're voluntarily creating and having faith in. And it again, presents itself as their dominating trait, so. You get to choose, which is the exciting part, which you want. Um, it is a well-known fact that one comes to finally believe whatever one repeats to oneself, whether the statement is true or false. So if you are always telling yourself that you cannot lose weight, whether that is true or not, which it is not true, then you will come to believe it. And, you know, I guess to use that phrase, you put all your eggs in that basket. And if you can't lose weight, they're probably Cadbury eggs. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm super funny. So, okay, a thought has thus magnetized, a thought thus magnetized with emotion may be compared to a seed that when planted in fertile soil, this is my favorite part, germinates, grows, and multiplies itself over and over again until that one small seed becomes countless of million seeds of the same brand. So if you're telling yourself you can't lose weight, it's that just starts as one thought. But the more you nurture that, feed it, grow it, believe in it, take care of it, it multiplies and takes root inside you to the point that it is all consuming, all encompassing, all encompassing, deeply rooted. And you you are now faced with countless all right seeds to overcome started with one thought so what i thought of when i read that was kind of a talk when i was a weight watcher leader and we talked about developing habits and you've heard before maybe you've heard before it takes 21 days to form a habit which i don't believe is true it's going to take you as long as it takes you to to form a habit. It's going to take you repeating, believing, practicing in order to create habits that are long lasting, whether they're good or bad. So a 21 day habit, if that's what you're working towards, is a I think of it as like a very young like tree, like a very young sapling that can be very easily plucked out of the ground at any time. 
it is not deeply rooted. You have not given it, you know, taken care of it long enough for it to become so big that you can't move it. Whereas over time, if you look at this tree as a habit, if you continue to nurture water um, and, you know, give it food, light, sun, whatever, it becomes almost impossible to move, but not impossible. You're going to have to get your trusty chainsaw, your axe, work on it little by little, take it down limb by limb, leaf by leaf, whatever you, whatever, however you want to look at it, and you can change that habit. So if you want to form a habit, it starts young, but you have to continue to feed it to grow. If you want to take down that same strong habit, that same, those habits that are ingrained in us that we have been practicing for years, whether it's the overeating or the not exercising or the um, negative self-talk or the, uh, you know, know, watching of the Netflix or, you know, whatever, it's going to take some time to chop those habits down because they become, they have become millions of seeds of the same brand. So I just thought that was interesting. Okay. Uh, a human mind is constantly attracting vibrations that harmonize with that which dominates the mind. So there's this, I don't quite fully understand this yet. I'm learning, but this energy out there, these vibrations that, that we pick up on that tend to dominate our mind. Any thought, idea, plan, or purpose which one holds in one's mind attracts from the vibrations of the other, a host of its relatives. Guys. If you don't like your one habit, your one bad habit, and you conti you're continu continuously feeding it, nurturing it, and allowing it to grow, you're going to attract all its friends and relatives, and they're going to have a whole, ho a whole house full of people that you don't want. Stop doing that. Time to change. It's time to, it's time to spend time with the habits. It's time to grow and nurture the relationships. It's time to spend time with the friends and relatives that we want in our lives. Okay. So, uh, it adds these relatives to its own force and grows until it becomes the dominating, motivating master of the individual in whose mind it has been housed. Deep. Okay. Any idea, plan, or purpose that may be placed in the mind through repetition, any idea, plan, or purpose, um, may be placed in the mind through repetition or thought. Any 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 idea plan or purpose so what you don't realize is all the habits that it takes or all the yeah i guess habits that it takes in order to develop a healthy lifestyle um to grow your bank account to develop good relationships to love yourself you have been practicing over and over you're already doing these things you're just focusing on the wrong things so when you tell me I can't change my habits, well, yes, you can, because you've already you've already proven that you can, you know, overeat as a habit. That is a habit. It's just the wrong one. It's just going to take time to chop that habit down, replace it with that seed, nurture it and allow that to grow. You have every resource, capability, um, tool. Um, Every bit, everything you need in order to be successful, if you develop the right habits and have faith in yourself and continuously tell yourself and, and manipulate your mind to believe the good, the positive, as opposed to the, you know, quote unquote, bad or negative. So I want you to think about that today. I want you to think about how what you the faith that you develop in yourself as an emotion needs to be continuously concentrated on focused on fed and grown okay and you already have everything in your power in order to be able to do that. So I think your action for today is maybe going to be one that you've already had because I think it's just a good one. They say that you can't control your first thought, but you can control your second. 
So every negative thought that comes into your mind immediately say, no, that is not true. I will not feed myself that lie anymore. I will have faith that I can change. Okay. Um, I plan to, let's see. I'll show you my tracker. So 21 days to form a habit, just touching on that again. So our success challenge was 21 days. This is this is my success tracker so far. Do you think that in one, two, three, four, four days when this challenge is over, I'm fixed? You know? No. That's the beginning. That's what you don't understand is that maybe you, there is no magic, you know, pill or fertilizer that's going to get this, you know, take you from that little tiny tree up to that gigantic, beautiful oak in, in 21 days. This is going to be a continuous effort of developing faith in yourself based on whatever deep desire you have and you want to um, achieve and focus on. So that is what I have for you today. I hope you have a great day. It's Wednesday already. I am really excited about that. I plan on having another great day handling anything that comes my way and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.